Happy Labor Day by the time you watch this video. My husband and I have just enjoyed watching an amazing sunset here in Texas. Let me give you a brief history on Labor Day. On this day, September 5th, 1882, over 10,000 workers marched the streets of Manhattan in support of workers' rights. It wasn't, it was just a few years later, I should say, that Grover, President Grover Cleveland signed the bill that Congress passed acknowledging a holiday for workers. But what I found interesting is it wasn't until the early 1900s that we saw um, the I guess what we now know to be the eight hour work day. Because back in the 1800s, people were working six days a week, 12 hours a day. I'm Elizabeth Mahusai, elite sales and leadership coach. And I wanted today to share with you an acrostic for the word work. Because in the 1800s, when they were working six days a week, 12 hours a day, I think oftentimes we can find ourselves working seven days a week, 12 hours a day, if we're not thoughtful about how we approach our work. Okay, so the W of work is wisdom. We need wisdom to know how much we should be working. That could be for some of us eight hours a day. For others, it may be uh, rotating schedules of how many hours we actually work. We need to bring wisdom to that because on the O of work, we need to own our time. This is why I'm always speaking to my clients about having an ideal schedule, mapping out what your week looks like, what your month looks like, what your six months looks like, what you want to be, uh, what your time to look like for an entire year, but we need to own our time. The R of work would be recognizing the realities that are part of our life. What season of life are we in? What are the ages of our children? I mean, I can remember when our boys were both in band, in middle school through high school, a lot of our time and the way we scheduled would be dictated by their activities, going to football games, going to concerts, tra uh, transporting them to and from. What are the realities of your life? And then the K is that we can know that we will get paid for how hard we work, sometimes now, sometimes later, but always eventually. So today, as we celebrate workers and all that has been accomplished over the last 140 years, since that very first march through the streets of Manhattan, I want to encourage you to have wisdom, to own your time, to recognize the realities that are happening in your life, and to know that you will indeed get paid for how hard you work, sometimes now, sometimes later, but always eventually. I'm Elizabeth Mahusai, elite sales and leadership coach, wishing you a happy Labor Day.